This is Die Sporting Network. What, what? All right, folks, second half here underway on court number one, Pikesville, Thomas Edison. Get it going here, and it's a good one. We came in about almost the end of the first half. That one, that three there, tipped and miss. Lady Panthers get the rebound. Defending 1A champions in NBSSA back in Maryland. Good hit, Taylor. Swings it back inside. Over the hill. Hell no good. Rebound back to Cotchett. Sarah Cotchwa, that is. Two point lead here for Thomas Addison, the Eagles out of Virginia. Alessandra, that's enough far away. Almost, it's almost kind of like a semi home game for them. That's a two, nailed it. Hainer, the sophomore, makes it a four-point game. Almost turned it over. Bowen, jumper there, tipped and miss. Offensive rebound by Taylor, and swings it back out. Moore, bounce pass. Hesitate to shoot. Now Will for two, and that's it. Air ball there by Bowen. Thomas Addison will get the ball back. Up four. That's <laughs> over dribble there by McRae. Deep three. Check the miss. And the ball out of bounds. Back to Pikesville. Pikesville still up four in this one so far. 6.20 here left in the third. Thomas Edison up four, I meant to say. Trying here to get some offense going here in the second half. Almost stolen. That's Taylor. Well, now Taylor, that is, able to handle it. Long pass over. Lost it on the deck. Ball still in bounds. Pikesville able to save it. Hellball! Hellball! And the ball stays with Pikesville. Remember, here's no shot clock here in the C Guy game. The match that you had, we had on court number three has become a really one sided court, 43 to 12. Scoring that one with Western Catholic. Long Jumper! No good! Shooting two will be Jalen Miles. Mail is the senior with two big shots here. Pikeville trying to get their second win. They beat Western Tech back in Baltimore on Friday evening. A pretty one-sided affair in that one. Second shot in there. All right, folks, we had an interruption there. We're back to game action now. That's a long distance shot. That was no good. Rebound back. Inside, block there. Ball's on the deck still. And picked off by Pikesville. Rolling down the street here. Jones Bay up top. Couldn't get it to go off. Out of physicality there. Back inside, turned it over again. Here comes Thomas Edison. Fakes it. And a foul. First team foul on Pikesville. It's going to be inbounded. Both teams have one foul each. 349 here left in the third quarter. It's been a very energetic matchup. You 
sub in. Open jumper in the corner. Tip the miss. I feel they had a defensive last there, but it wasn't able to hurt him. Bree Taylor lost the handle. Back comes Thomas Edison. Nice pass. Look, this is right there. I'm gonna get this one, I know, but Amusa Flajo with the two. And it leads to 6 27 21. Looking to drive here. Float up top, and a roll goes. Jones Bay gets the roll to go right there. And he's there. Three minutes left here in the third. Looking to drive. Double dribble. And the ball back to Pinkville. Those Dukes getting it on. 250 left here in the quarter. Here in the third. Off the screen now. Bounce pass. Turns it over a little. Miscommunication there. And a foul there. Carter was getting kind of moved down the court. Thomas Edison gets it back, still up four in this one, 27 23. Inside, inside. Season two. He's got foul here. Yeah. shot in there. Second shot here to make this a six point game. No good. Out of bounds, and Thomas Edison will retain the time. She got game here at the St. James. This is the third season, I do believe, since the pandemic. Well, right before the pandemic, and then after it. Yeah. The St. James is sponsored to see you again. We do appreciate them. Twenty-eight, twenty-three is the score. We got a timeout. I believe Pikeville called it. They're down five in this one. Twenty-eight, twenty-three. Thank you so much for checking us out here on the Dinosaur Network. You can always cash up us. Money sign Dinosaur Network. We do appreciate all the email. On Stevie 22. Oh. The Twitter at Dice Funny Man. Instagram, Facebook, here on YouTube, ladies and gentlemen. Over 2210 plus subscribers. Star, star. We appreciate you out there. I'm sure you are getting the best sports action in the DMV area. We're trying our best to bring it to you, ladies and gentlemen. And boy, oh boy. We got some games coming your way between here and the She Got Game and, and the matchup at the match at the Hoops Fest Day 2. Another top rank matchup in a little bit in that one. 28 to 23 is your score in this one. It's on, it's on, but... <laughs>
I might make some adjustments. That's a five-point game here. Heifel did get a jumper to go down. Try! Oh, Travis Carter. Good defense there by Pikeville as well. Didn't have to foul to cause the turnover. The foul wouldn't cause turnover. Didn't have to foul in general, so he wouldn't get the turnover. One 19 remaining here in the third. Pikeville mounting up for them. They have five so far. Two more, they're going to put Thomas Edison in the one and one And when you're trailing, not what you want. Up top, no good on that three attempt. Back comes Wells. Holden McCray. Back. Block there. And back the other way comes the Lady Panthers. Coming up the court. Missed it high though. Couldn't get it to go in. And a foul the other way. 16 foul now on Pikeville. Marshall will inbound here. Bounce pass over. Game clock running down. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. That's McCray with it. 6, 5, 4, 3. McCray puts it up. It was possibly blocked. Held the ball with 1.3 seconds. Going back to Pikesville. That's the good news Pikesville gets the ball back, but there's not much time to do anything with it. 1.3. Mellis throws up half court. Not quite there. After three, here on court number one, Thomas Anderson, the Eagles, up by five here with Pikesville, 30 to 25 in the fourth quarter. We'll be back here for the She Got Game at the St. James coming. Five full full quarter about to get going here. Thomas Edison is up by five, 30 to 25.
225 is your score now. Look in, spins out of it, and a whistle. Who's bucket there? 32 27. No. Fan it around an offensive rebound back. Shot foul here again. Iverson in the building. First shot. Goes in there. Second shot off the back again. No good. So one of two to lead the six. to the ground, that's the call we have to make. That's a foul there. One and one. Shot here. I hit the first to make the second. No good. Got the defensive rebound. He's there. Turn over there. Back. Slide. Over. Blocked. Turned over. Back the other way again. Bounce pass. Over! Shooting two! And that's Taylor. Shooting the pair. Fire Academy coming back from Ohio.
with 531 remaining. We've got a close one here. Fort number one. It's a good one now. Do you expect it will be? Thomas Edison getting back up by Uno. On pass over. Mellows to the basket, shooting two. Mellows shooting a pair at the line here. First shot. Run and miss. See in court six, what's going in action, American Heritage from Florida. Except the miss there. Out of bounds. They say Pikeville keeps it. What a way to retain a one point game. Well, it's Miss Low Free Foes either. Seventeen remaining. And regulation time. What a game this one has turned out to be. Oh, look out. Got it back. Open three for the lead back. Tip the miss. Balls everywhere. Thomas Edison retains possession and gets it back. Side 
no. Offensive rebound, no. One more chance at it, snatched away. Jones Bay, it's a freshman. Looking to make some noise. Inside, up top, swings it, open three for the lead back, tipped and missed again. Rebound there and a huge one. To the positive, 330 left in this one. On the four main court, this is the best matchup by far so far. Off the screen, inside, spins it in and one more. Thomas Anderson now up three. One. Nailed it. Who's there for McCray? The lead to four. Three, 16 remain. Their regulation time. How about pushing the tempo in this? Looking to drive. Swings it back. Got it back. Trying to force a turnover. Almost dead. Over the foul limit now is Pikeville. Three ball! Wells with a big time bucket there. 41 to 34. Mailers no. Elbow. Stays with Pikeville. Right now, Pikeville is kind of on the edge. Stretch here, 237 left. They lost it out. It goes back to Thomas Anderson. They actually took the lead briefly and then the guys are running out. Back, no good. Offensive rebound. Didn't get the roll either. Thomas Anderson with the rebound. Coming back the other way. 220 left, McCray. McCray floats it up and in. And get a man a little straightening. And the lead now to nine. 43 to 34 and Pikeville fading here in the latter stages here of this fourth quarter. To the basket, needed that one. Jones Bay, timeout by Coach Dukes.
Johnny Davis will do that. Fucking dude. Like, and beat. Yeah, it's going to hurt to get a I'm saying, man, I mean, they didn't want to go hard. I thought Phoenix was something like this. I wonder about it.
down to St. Francis on the same day. Oh, 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 to come in to St. James, Weston and Polly and Irvington in action. This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what?